Hi, my name's Neil, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a recent project that I've just wrapped up to create a infant sleeping solution inside the 2021 Winnebago Revel. That is, of course, built on top of the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So my wife and I have just had our first child. Um, super excited about that and also excited to get her out in our van and continue our active lifestyle and this time bringing the baby along. So I needed to find a suitable sleeping solution for her. The ones I've seen so far, um, there's a lot of good sleeping solutions in a van like this for older kids, things like the Cabonk, uh, CA Adventure Vans has an extra bed. There's things like that. Um, but I didn't find many for a newborn. And newborns need a very specific um, sleeping surface um, to follow safe, safe sleep guidelines. And so I was kind of trying to figure out how to come up with something. I had seen that people had put bassinets up in the front of the van in different locations, but for me that wasn't gonna work too well because I wanted us to be able to continue using the van when the baby was asleep and didn't want it to be in a place where we would disturb the baby. We also have a large dog that travels with us and so I wanted the baby to be out of the way of the dog and preferably closer to where we sleep in the van. But before I continue explaining what I've done, just a quick kind of legal caveat. I am not a professional crib builder in any way, shape or form and I cannot guarantee that what I've come up with here meets all safety standards in your area. So uh, really this video is just for entertainment purposes and I'm just hoping that it might um, help or inspire other people to come up with uh, ideas for themselves. So it's kind of hard to film this because of the field of view of the camera and the confined space inside the Revel. So I've got the rear doors open here to kind of get a better shot, but this is what I've come up with. So one of the key goals for this project was that it did not interfere with our own sleeping arrangement. And whilst the uh, bed in the Revel is fairly small, um, you do sleep uh, side to side in the van. There's actually quite a lot of vertical space, um, which obviously above your feet is not really used. And so, I saw this as an area of the van that was not really leveraged and a good place to potentially try and uh, sleep our newborn. One of the other key requirements was that this crib could be assembled and disassembled very quickly because the bed in the Revel of course raises up towards the roof and so I wanted to build it out of as few pieces as possible uh, such that I could quickly put it together. So what I came up with is essentially the first part is this shelf um, and then the crib itself um, assembles on top of that. And the shelf is attached on two ends, on this end by these aluminum rods that actually thread into uh, these attachments, which are bolted onto the bed. So I did need to drill uh, six holes into the bed frame here. At the top, uh, they are attached with these threaded uh, bolts that just go into some threaded uh, wood inserts in here. Uh, so this is super secure and on the other side the shelf is attached to this wall with some brackets underneath and these clamps that just spin to uh, put downward pressure on the shelf. Now the rest of the crib is actually assembled with four pieces. The end panels here are attached to this aluminum T-track and so they just slot into position and actually lock with these plungers into place so they cannot come out and then the front of the crib is built from birch hardwood and attaches with uh, these threaded knobs here and is then hinged on the front to open and get access and then inside is a mini crib mattress by a company called Bloom um, that fits nicely um, into the crib. So once the crib is assembled, uh, I have these hinged doors um, that open up like this with these little latches. Um, so they can both open up, give an easy access to the crib and to the baby and just simply shut closed. And then I also added this little extra latch, it's hard to do with one hand, um, but that just kind of adds an extra layer of rigidity to the whole thing once it's closed. 
and makes it harder to break out of this baby jail once the baby's a little bit older. So here I'm just showing you how I lay it out once it's disassembled. Uh, this is the main shelf piece here and then we've got the uh, end panels and underneath are the front parts and then I just use this little bag to store the little um, threaded knobs and then the mattress just fits in the recess there with some um, bungee cord that I attached across. So now I will show you how to put it together. Okay, so the process to set it up is fairly quick, uh, but it is a little cumbersome because there's some big pieces to move around in a small space. But I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So first of all, I take the two uh, rods and I'm gonna thread those in to the um, female ends that are on the bed here. Okay, that's one end. Okay, that's the second one in. Then I'm gonna take the mattress out the way, just put it to one side. Hopefully it's not in the way of the video too much. I'll put it over there. Okay, then I'm gonna take the shelf. I'm gonna spin this around and that cutout goes above the seatbelt. Give it enough room to slot in there. Okay, now I take the knobs out of here. I take the two male ones and they screw in to the end here. Okay, and then on this end, which you can't see super well, I have the clamps that um, drive down vertically to just secure the shelf on, on this side. Okay, so now the shelf is in place, uh, super solid, doesn't move. Then I take these end pieces with the T-track on the bottom and I'm gonna put this one in. So I have to kind of get it in place and pull the plunger down. It's a little tricky because honestly, I should have put the plungers further back so that I don't need to do it one handed, but there you are. Um, and then I'm gonna do this one on this side over here. So that slots in there. Now we take the front pieces uh, this one goes on this side, so I just thread that through the hole and attach these two knobs on here. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. And take this one. Okay, and there we have it. So here's the crib fully assembled. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm particularly happy with how quick it is to put it up. It takes about two and a half minutes to assemble. It takes just over a minute to take it down. Um, it doesn't interfere with the bed going up and down because it all fits neatly on top of the mattress. And most importantly, I'm happy that we've managed to utilize a space in the van that previously was, was unutilized, right? Like this void above our feet was not used for anything. And these vans are not very big. And so you need to maximize every every inch of them. And so I love that the baby can safely sleep here close to us in bed. And also when we're using the rest of the van, as I said earlier, cooking or going in and out of the van at night, we're not disturbing the baby because the baby's got its own space at the back here. So yeah, super happy with that. And yeah, I just hope this video was of interest to someone. I know this is a very niche topic for a video, but um, maybe someone out there is trying to solve the same problem, so it might be helpful to you.